Rod storage is a problem no matter where you're at, whether it's the garage or in a small fishing cabin like this. There's a lot of different rod holders on the market. The problem is they all kind of have flaws in my opinion. So I don't know what the heck these are, but I know that Country Steve's got electrical tape here that he's had to add because the tips want to fall out. And we've got a lot of money up on the wall and we definitely don't want that happening. So we're going to get rid of these and we're going to show you the Dubro track system and how versatile that is and also just a really a quality deal. So here's the install and a couple simple steps. So the Dubro tracker rod system is available in a couple colors and a couple different sizes here. This one's going to come with six of the rings. And we've got this little aluminum track piece that's about two foot long, actually. And so one little trick I'm going to give you is it comes with an Allen wrench and the little screws. And you probably can't see that, but I like to put them in starting backwards just with my finger. And that way I can put the Allen wrench kind of in here from an angle a little bit and just loosen it up. Make sure to put the Allen head side up towards the ring or away from the bottom. You want the little point there on the bottom. And just twist this in as far as you can go, and that's going to save you a lot of work and less turning. So I'm going to leave that a little bit exposed because that way we can slide these in and move them around where we want them once we get them up. But then it's just going to take just a little bit of tightening. So really simple. There's not a lot to this. The next step is, is we're actually going to mount the frame itself on the wall. So we've got the track rod. We kind of pre-installed these loosely. And we've got the screws in here too because we're at fish camp. We don't have the right things. So we've got some drywall screws, which will work. But some pan heads will be a little easier because you won't have to monkey around with it nearly as much. But we're going to just put this up here, level it. Make sure you got your spacing right. That's all we got. Country Steve's got the screw gun. Once you have the track rod system mounted, take a second and actually start placing your rods in before you use the provided Allen wrench to secure them because different size reels and rods may sit differently and that's the nice thing about the adjustability here. You can have these just about wherever you want them in the track system. So me and Country Steve got this finished up, the Dubro track a rod system. It's really nice because you can actually leave the rods in here like you did to do the final adjustments with the set screws. Yeah, it worked out really good. So you know as you're doing the things. And again, one of the coolest things about the track rod system is you can add or subtract, or if you get larger reels, smaller reels, whatever it is, you can quickly add, subtract, change them around, whatever you want, add to them here bunch of rods these also can work you know vertical like we've got them but also horizontal if you want to put them on the wall and just alternate the rings and the hooks both ways so the reels don't overhang but versatility that's the whole point of the Dubro tracker rod system. <laughs> 